let's do Elton Brand. Okay. This is, <laughs> I can tell you right now, this is going to be the most unpopular name that every single Hornets fan will go, I didn't mind who we hire apart from Elton Brand because in his tenure with the Philadelphia 76ers, it was a pretty, pretty uh, bleak one. And it was Daryl Morey who was brought in kind of above his head uh, when they weren't really going anywhere and kind of steadied the ship now. But I can I can already tell people Elton Brand was involved in a little bit of the end of the process with Philadelphia, and that is going to be the unpopular name. Absolutely. He was like the very weird middleman for the Colangelo era that ended terribly with the, the burner accounts and the ties and the or the sweaters and finding a new slant, I think was the the meme that came from that. And then the Daryl Mora Daryl Morey era that was completely synonymous with ushering in James Harden and then pretty promptly ushering him out at the beginning of this season. So it was, it, he just I completely agree that this is going to be the most unpopular polarizing name in this entire search. I uh, definitely would not say that he had a successful tenure as general manager. I don't know if I would say it was like unsuccessful necessarily either because the Sixers are obviously still a good regular season team. They've just really and regardless of who's been in charge as a lead decision maker, they've never been able to break through in the playoffs. Joel Embiid has obviously been a very good player throughout any GM's tenure regardless. So yeah, it's just, it, it would be very, I, I don't know what people's reaction would be. Like the consensus reaction, I guess would be if I, he well, was hired or even like was like on the short list of candidates, like down the process or down the line so of the process here. It would be the reaction would be, reaction. Oh my God, what have the Hornets done? And then within half an hour, people would go, Oh, actually, no, no, I can understand they took themselves into it. <laughs> right. Because that's, yeah, that's what exactly. happens with any hire. What are you going to do? Sit there for the next five years and go, we should never have hired Elton Brand. It's like 2028. 20, and you're just going to like, <laughs> people just move on with these things really quickly. They have a preference. And then as soon as the hire happens, that preference gets thrown out the window, uh, you know, from a fan base. Uh, this is one thing I will say about Elton Brand. He is one of the few names on this list who has experience actually leading a front office himself he's not doing it now but he did do it for a couple of seasons and look all these up and coming names they're all great but until you are the guy there is a massive difference in running an organization as opposed to working within it and the fact that elton brand got that experience early and yet it didn't go great but if he's learned from that that is so important and like how many times you know, that have you made mistakes in your life professionally right and those mistakes are some of the biggest things that define you and build you as a candidate because you, you learn from that and you adapt. Now, some people make the same mistakes over and over and not everyone does. But I don't think that if Brand was hired, there should just be this wave of, oh my God, what have we done? I think you're, you're bringing someone in who's had a taste of leading in the big chair. Um, he's had now an opportunity to look, work under someone like Daryl Morey, one of the best in the business. Um, he's obviously a high character individual. The fact he's still getting looks even now after that previous experience. So I would be, I just stopped short a little bit of the immediate gut reaction that I think the Elton brand name will solicit. Yeah. I mean, this is just a very brief rundown of his transactions. Like he traded Wilson Chandler, Mike Muscala, Landry Shamet, and a first for Tobias Harris, Boban and Mike Scott and a couple seconds or protected first objectively like a pretty neutral trade i feel like traded faults and jonathan simmons or traded faults for jonathan simmons and a second and a first that became tyrese maxi that's a good trade i would say trading faults for jonathan simmons and tyrese maxi uh and then after that he got drafted matisse tybel like traded uh jimmy butler to the heat in that massive like four team trade he traded. Uh, that's the one, though. That's the one for a that, couple that seconds. Butler, like... That Butler trade, you know, away. That's, that's the exact oh, guy oh, that yes. Philly have needed, right? Um, yes, you know, I that, agree. But I think killer. that was more motivated by Jimmy Butler wanting to play for the Heat than the Sixers not wanting Jimmy Butler necessarily. Well, they, want, they chose to pay correctly. Tobias Harris instead of Jimmy Butler. That was the history. They were both approaching free agency, oh, okay. from my memory. Okay. I and that, it then. was, they could only keep one of them, and they kept Tobias Harris, which. I think there was a famous Jimmy Butler after they beat Philly one time saying Tobias Harris over me to the camera. 
um, <laughs> a few years <laughs> later, rubbing it in a very Jimmy Butler way. And I, in terms of his draft history, I can't remember quite the years. Did, did he select Okafor and Fultz or was Okafor previous regime? Uh, no, that was the previous regime. His first draft was Ty Jerome, uh, Matisse Tybel, uh, Admiral Scofier, or no, Mariel Shayok. But yeah, Ty Jerome, Matisse Tybel, and yeah. Mariel Shayok was his uh, first draft, I so, believe. Which, I ended up, which actually just season. ended up being Matisse Tybel because they traded Ty Jerome for him. So yeah, just yeah. Ty, Ty, uh, Matisse Tybel and Mariel Shayok, I think. Those were the only picks he okay. even ever made because the Sixers always trade their draft picks. Yeah. So, um, and then he fired Brett Brown and hired Doc Rivers. So, I mean, th that's really like the totality of his moves because that was just, it was two seasons that he was in charge and then that was it. They finished. But the fact that they had to bring and... in Daryl Morey ahead of him, right? That is code right. for we don't quite trust you running this big show. Like, we like you, we want you to be part of it, but we don't think you should be the guy. And I think that's the thing that will set a lot of people's, you know, spider senses off of worrying. Yes.